called one here now. Very good. Whatever comes to your mind, if it was day or night, if you were inside or outside. In this memory, is it day or night? <laughs> Is what is happening in this memory? Yes. To be a memory from childhood. That's what is happening. Day, daytime. Is daytime very good? And what is happening? It is not my childhood. Yes. It is the Yeshua. Yeshua. Yes. Well, what does that mean? Continue. What is happening? That's it. If you want to cry, just cry. There we go. What is happening in that memory? Yeshua on the cross. Yeshua on the cross. Yes. And where are you as Yeshua is on the cross? I'm watching. I'm watching. Right there, do you have the body of a man or a woman? Woman. Woman. Mm -hmm. Continue. What is happening? We knew it was going to happen. Yes. But just watching it so, so heartbreaking. Yes, feel all of that and tell me everything you're experiencing. Is Jesus still alive on the cross? No. No. Mm -hmm. We'll continue what is happening. Yeah. What is going to happen? I don't know. After that. You don't know what is going to happen? Oh, yeah. I think it is going to happen bad things after that. Bad things, yes. We need to take care of things. Yes. What things do you need to take care of? Yes. We need to live from there. From there. Mm -hmm. Very good. And up to here, what has been the most difficult moment of that experience with Jeshua on the cross? Yes. What has been the most difficult moment of that experience? The pain. The pain. The pain. The pain. 
There we go. Now I want you to see how all of this is affecting you in your life as I know. Yes, as I know, I always feel I am not enough. Whatever I am doing, not enough. More and more, more learning, more. Yes. Now, what does that prevent you from doing in your life as Isla? I, I couldn't see and appreciate my authenticity. But I have already. And Yes. Very good. It is so. Uh, yes. So I always focus on the not enough. I, I mean, uh, yes. Um, negativity. Not yeah. enough, not enough, not appreciating the positivity or supporting the positivity. There we go. So now I am going to count from three to one. When I get to one, I want you to go back, back to the moment this started for you in that life. Three, two, and one. If you know, how does this start for you in that life? Yeah. In Ida's life? In that life, in that life, where you were with Yeshua. I am in a little community. Yes. How do people call you? Yes. Like, say ya, say ya, say ya, say ya, say la, like yes. this. So, say la, what is happening now? How does this start for you? What are you doing? That's it, continue. I am interested in plants. Yeah. Mm. Vegetables. Yes. And healing plants. Yes. Continue. I'm learning about them. I'm working in the... I'm not alone. You're not alone. Mm -hmm. I'm in this um, learning vegetables and healing plants. Very good. Continue. Yeah. What happens next? I prepare the plans for 
for healing. Yes. And also I learn Yes. What else have you learned? In crystals. In crystals, yes. Mm. What is the name of the place where you live? You don't remember, it doesn't matter. I don't remember, but it is uh, like, ah, uh, yeah, Cumbran. Yes, very good. Continue. It is a uh, like little village. Little village. So what happens next? As I count from three to one, move to the next significant event in that life. Three, two, and one. You are there now. Yes. That's what is happening now. I'm learning about plants. Yeah. Um, It's really, really wrong. I am with Maria. I am learning to dance from her. From Maria? Yes. What are you learning about those plants? How to mix. How to prepare healing plants, make um, cre creams, mm -hmm. um, teas, poultries, poultries. Good. So, what happens next? How to dry them? I have learned actually how to dry them. I. I'm learning much more. He, she has a big knowledge about that. Good. Continue. A little bit more. What happens next? She's teaching me also. I am not alone. She's teaching us. I cannot see clear the others, but I know I am not alone. Yes. She's teaching us how to use energy with plants, so they can more effective our energy. Erica. So as I count from three to one, I want you to move to the next significant event in that life. Three, two, and one. You are there now. Yes, what is happening now?
we are we are preparing the yes like, um, creams yes making ready for Yeshua for Yeshua and how does he use those? For healing. For his, healing. Healing his wounds. His wounds? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, what kind of wounds are there? What kind of wounds does he have? After... After taking off from cross. Yeah. We are going to heal the wounds. Actually, I am not, but they are going to, Maria. Yes. Why would you heal the wounds in a body that is dead already? This is after the cross. He is not really dead. What makes you say that? He's going to come back. We He's... knew that. We were preparing for this. Yes. So you're healing the wounds of the body because he's going to come back to that body. Mm-hmm. Let's continue. So what happens next? We knew everything, what is what was going to happen because Yeshua is going to allow himself to go to the cross. Mm. Yeah. We knew what was going to happen. That was big preparation for this. Yeah. Preparation. So, energetic preparation. Yes. And then, no, but everything should be perfectly ready. Yes. So. So oh. we, are, we are getting ready for after taking off cross crucifixion. Yes. So move forward as I come from three to one. I want you to move forward to that moment. Allow your body to feel everything it needs to feel in order to complete that experience forever. Three, two, and one. You are there now. What is happening now? They are leaving Comra and all the other places. Yes. Yeah. Yes, sure, I safe now. But we need to make ourselves safe. What makes you say that he's safe now? Where is he? Mm -hmm. I know. I know. Somehow I know he's safe. Yes. If this is before or after the cross? After. After. We need to live now, time to live, because uh, they are going to attack. Yes. Uh, what have you done to the body to heal it? I haven't done, because it's, 
where he was brought, not everyone can go. Yeah. So who went? Mm. Yeah. Are you allowed to say who went? Maria was there. Yes. Mm. I think I was there too. Who? I think I think I was there too. I believe. Yeah. I. I am there too. Yes. I believe I am Jesus, Jesus' cousin. No. Yes. Okay. So as I count from three to one, we have to move to the next significant event. Three, two, and one. Yeah, there. I am in Egypt now. And how old are you there? I moved from there to Egypt. Yes. What made you go to Egypt? To join the others. For what? To save. Safe place over there, safe community. Yes, very good. So now as I count, I want you to so count from a three to one. I want you to move to the last minute of that life to see how that body dies. Three, two, and one. You're there now. What is happening now? Yeah. No. Heart, I heart uncomfortable. Your heart is uncomfortable. Continue. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yes, and what happens? I'm, Time to leave. Time to leave. So once you're ready, allow that body to die and leave. Once again, I will come from three to one. I want you to go back to the moment right before the body dies. This time, allow your body to feel everything it needs to feel in order to complete this experience forever. Three. Two, no one, you are there now. What hap happens to the body when the heart feels uncomfortable? My heart stopped. As the heart stops, what happens to the lungs? Lungs. Lungs are okay. Yeah. So what happens to the brain when the heart stops? Mm. 
Brain actually a little bit more working. Yes. What is the last thing you're uh, you're able to think in that brain? The last thought. Time to live. Time to live. Very good. So now allow that body to die, and I want you to contemplate that dead body. Understanding that with the death of that body, that experience is over, and none of this belongs to you anymore. Once you're out of the body, and you want to say goodbye to anybody there. Yes, my friends. Your friend. Ready. Thank you. I love you. What do you think you had to learn in that life? I feel so love, so much love. I, I, in this life. Yes. Did you learn that lesson? Yes. Yeah. But why you did the best everything? Ah. Uh, Yes, but there's also something that you said. I feel guilt. What does this guilt make you do in your life as Ayla? Yes. Hmm. Yes, what is this, this guilt? This sadness, make? this sadness. This sadness. Yeah, this sadness. I knew everything what was going to happen. Yes. But I couldn't detach myself from my emotions. Yes. Emotions. Um, that was important. That was an important moment. Yes. Uh, yes. So why are you feeling guilt even though Jesus came back? Yeah. I feel guilt because I couldn't manage. Still, I can't I couldn't manage yes. my emotions. I am not enough still. I am not enough yet. Yes. I, <laughs> and how how many lifetimes have you spent feeling guilt and not feeling enough? So many. How many more are you willing to spend feeling that way? I don't want to. I don't want to. This should be finished in this lifetime. This should be finished in this lifetime. So finish it now. I want you to become aware of what this has been doing to you in your incarnations after that life. Feeling it's guilt, not good enough, for no reason. That belongs to another life, another body, not this one. Not Isla's body. So once you're ready, I want you to get your energy from that body. I want you to contemplate that the body 
understanding that with the death of that body, that experience is over forever. And none of this belongs to you anymore. And once you're ready, get your energy from that body and take your soul to the light, getting away from that body, getting away from that light, taking your soul to rest now. And let me know once you are in the light. I am. Very good. And now I am going to count from three to one. When I get to one, allow your soul to go to wherever it needs to go to keep healing today. Three, two, and one. You're there now. If you know, even if you think you're making it up, where are you now? Mm. Yeah. In this, in a big space. In a big space. With a uh, lot of light. Like, there we go. Like yes. rainbow. Rainbow. So while you're in this big space, I will count from three to one. When I get to one, I want you to move forward to the time you're going to reincarnate as Isla to the time you're in your mother's womb, Isla's mother's womb. Three, two, and one. You're there. You can remember, you can imagine this place being in this dark and moist environment. Inside of your mother's womb, you are at this moment connected to her. You can think what she thinks. You can feel what she feels. What is your mother feeling now? Yeah. My, my mother has big sadness. She has big sadness. I will count from three to one. When I get to one, you will repeat the first few words that come from your mother explaining why she is sad. Three, two, and one. What is your mother saying? She doesn't want to go. She doesn't want to go. Go where? She doesn't want to leave her house. Yes. Mm. What is why is it that she needs to leave her house? Oh, she is so sad. Yes. What's making her leave her house? My father needs to, needs to, needs to go. I see. And as your mother is feeling sad, how does this make you feel? Oh, it, is, it is hurting me. And my father is sad too. I feel his sadness. 
Yes, Erica. What is your father saying to your mother? Mm, he says, I'm sorry. I don't want to leave you, but just one year. One year. One just year. One year. And what you is... cannot stay alone here. Nobody is with you. You are pregnant. And what is your mother saying to him? She yeah, understood, understand. But she's gonna she did she said, just said, she knows she needs to go because yes. there is nothing from the family in the, where, where they are living. Erica. She needs to go. She knows what she said. Yeah. So, as I count from three to one, I want you to move forward to the next significant event. During your time in your mother's womb, three, two, and one. You're there now. What is happening now? Yes. She has strong headache. And how does that make you feel when she got, has a headache? Com uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Uh, I am trying. Trying to relax. Yeah, so you're successful doing that. I cannot connect so good with my mother because she has so much trauma. I see. How does that make you feel when you're not able to connect with your mother? Is feeling sad. sad. I'm feeling sad. I'm feeling sad. Erica. I could help her, but I cannot reach because too much things. Blockages, emotions, too much things I cannot reach. Erica. So as I count from three to one, we have to move forward to the next significant event during your time in your mother's womb. Three, two, and one. You're there now. I am going out from the mother, my mother's room. So before you get out, up to here, what has been the most difficult moment during your time in your mother's womb? Not connecting and no feeling con the citrus. I want to go early out. I don't want to stay so long here. What does this all make you do in your life as Ayla? Oh, my God. Yeah. Mm. 
Not comfortable in my places. Not comfortable. Not connected to my places. Not connected. Uh, Even the... not connected to my body completely. Yeah. Uh, not connected to my higher self completely. Yes. And anger. Anger was the, my big issue. Yes. And what does this all prevent you from doing in your life? Expressing my authentic self. Yeah. And, and mm, emotions. Yeah. I want you to start being born. If I come from three to one, start being born now. Allow your body to feel and do everything it needs to feel and do to complete this experience forever. Three, <clears throat> two, and one. Start being born now. Start feeling your mother's contractions. Feel the pressure on your head, your head as it starts coming out. What else is happening? Feel your body, your arms, your shoulders, your hips. What is happening? It is easy to go out. It is easy no. to go out. Not easy. Uh -huh. mm. It so is easy. Easy. Mm. Now that you're out, let me ask you, of all of these emotions you have been feeling in the womb, the anger, the sadness, the headache, which ones belong to you and which ones to your mom? All of them belong to my mother. So very good. I want you to speak to your mother. You can tell her that you love her very much. She will always be your mother. But tell her that you cannot keep carrying her emotions with you. You made them yours when you didn't have to. And today, you're giving all of them back to, to her. Talk to her. I love you. <laughs> Mom, I love you. I love you so much. <laughs> but I cannot carry anymore <laughs> your feelings, your emotions. I want to give you back all these emotions. Yes, I cannot keep feeling that I do not belong. I cannot keep feeling disconnected. I cannot keep feeling abandoned. Talk to her. I cannot feel keep feeling abandoned. I am creating in my life a lot of abundance. abundance. A lot of sadness, a lot of disconnections. I'm giving all of this Anger. back to you today, yes. I am giving you all of this back to you. Sorry, I need to give you back. Because this is your journey. These are your lessons, not mine. I've been robbing you from your own lessons. I need to give this back to you. I need to give this back to you. This is your journey, not mine. It is affecting my journey. Yes. I'm it... creating these things not belong to me, actually. Very good. And ask her to give you her energy back, her feminine energy, motherly energy. 
that belongs to you to establish that connection so that you can feel her and that she can feel you. It is give your feminine energy to me. Man. And put it back in your soul. Now talk to your dad. Tell him everything you've been wanting to tell him because he was not there during your mother's pregnancy. During the time you were in the womb, he's not there when you're born. Talk to him. If you are not with me, Dad, then I am born and coming to the earth. I couldn't feel your energy. But I want I want you to give me your energy now. I want you to give me yes. your energy now. I feel complete. No, I feel complete. Very good. So now I want you to find your umbilical cord because in a moment I will count from three to one. Once I do, I will cut the cord. And you'll, you'll be disconnected from your mother's emotions forever. And you will be able to be yourself with no influence. Three. Find your umbilical cord. In a moment, we're going to cut it. And you will disconnect from those forever. Two. Disconnecting your cord. No, one. Cut the cord now. And now you're free and you're able to be yourself. There we go. And now we'll count from three to one. When I get to one, I want you to go back to that day. That day when you're one year old and your mom is taking you to your grandma's house. Three. Two and one. You're there now. What is happening? Grandma is in our house. Yes. So she's going to turn to the her house. The house that I was born. Yeah. Uh, she's taking me with my aunt. She's with my aunt. Who's taking you? My grandma. You, Brana, what is making her do that? She's, she believes she take care of better of me. So what is your mother saying? My mother doesn't want. She's sad. She's sad. But she cannot say anything. Let me talk to your grandma for a second. Three, two, one, change. Grandma, what is going on? Why are you taking Isla with you? Why are you taking her? She's one year old. Why are you taking her with you? They have another new baby. Yes. My son's income is not good right now. Yes. They need to, the other baby. Yes, it is breakfast about. But Ayla needs to good nutrition. Yes. So you're trying to help. Yeah, I am trying to help them. Yeah. So you think that 
by taking her away from her mother and father, you're helping her. By taking her away from her parents, you're helping her nutrition. Yeah. Hmm. Let me ask you a question, Grandma. Do you have brothers and siblings yourself? Do you have brothers or sisters? I have brothers. And did, did they take you away from your mother when you were one year old? Mm. Not one year old, but when my mother, mother was dead and they gave me to the, another woman. And how old were you? Eight years old. Eight years old. And how did you feel when they took you away from your mother who was passed away? Abandoned. And abandoned. And how do you think this little girl is feeling now when she's being taken from her mother to be with you? How do you think she's feeling? She's feeling... Abandoned. Abandoned. And the mother is not able to say anything because that's your culture. And your son, the father, is not saying anything because he's doing it out of respect to you. Mm -hmm. So you are the only one winning here. You have your granddaughter with you for some time, but the granddaughter doesn't have her parents, and the parents don't have her daughter. You see? So I want you to talk, if you want, if you can. Talk to Isla and explain that she doesn't need to feel abandoned. That maybe you realize that this was a mistake on your part. Whatever you want to tell her. So that she doesn't want to, that doesn't feel abandoned or rejected. Or, or feel that she doesn't belong. Talk to her. What would you like to tell her? Ayla, I wanted to just help you. Yeah. I was helping you, actually. You, we are planned all this thing, Ayla. Yes, Ayla, why don't you tell your grandma how you're feeling? I feel so sad. Maybe we planned, but I feel so sad. Yes. I, I lost my family. They don't want me anymore. I feel like this. Why you take me? Why you take me? Yes. Just for the every day giving me egg? Yes. Well, let me talk to your mother for a second. Three, two, one, change. Perry Ham. Is it true that you, that you don't want your daughter anymore? Is this true? What your daughter is saying, it is not true, right? You don't have any other option. This is why you're doing this. They wouldn't listen to me. They will not listen to you, yes. So, Periham, talk to your daughter and explain to her that she's wrong. That it's not that you don't want her. It's not that she's losing your family. Explain to her that you're trapped in this culture where people don't listen to you. And there's anything, there's nothing you can do but that you love her and that she will always be part of you. Talk to her, explain this to her. I, I never, never, ever wanted to keep you. I have never abandoned you. I love you so much. There we go. <sighs> Apologize to her in case she got the wrong message. She got the wrong idea. <sighs> I'm 
sorry. I got the wrong message. Mm -hmm. I couldn't, I wasn't strong enough for you to stand over there. Sorry okay. about that. Grandma, would you also like to apologize to Isla? Even though you, you were doing this with good intention, you see that the result is not going to be good. Would you like to apologize to her? Yes. Well, talk I'm to her. She's sorry. Listening. I am sorry, Isla. I didn't... I have ever thought I have created that much sadness, trauma. I only wanted to good care of you. Very good. Ayla, would you like to forgive these two women? That their only mistake is that they love you so much. Your grandma thinking that the best thing for you is to be with her. And your mother, out of respect to the culture, she's moving forward with your grandma's plans. Would you like to forgive them today for the mistakes they made? Yes. Yes. And where have you been keeping this sadness and this anger, this feeling of not belonging, this feeling of rejection all of these years in your body? Where? In my gut. In your gut. Oh, intestines good. and yes. digestive systems and my... Very good. So go ahead and take it out of there now, and your neck. Take that energy, take those emotions out of your body. They don't belong there anymore. It's been so many years. You were one year old when this happened. Don't allow this one-year-old baby put sadness, rejection, abandonment, feeling of not belonging, when she doesn't understand anything about life yet. She doesn't understand how this is going to affect you when you get to be 50, 60, 61. And forgive that baby for putting those emotions in her body when she didn't have to. And now in this empty spot where those emotions were, you can put something beautiful instead. What would you like to put? Love. Love. Very good. Put love, compassion. And the feeling that now you know that you have always belonged, that you were never rejected, and that you were always loved. And with that forgiveness, gonna move away from that memory. Once again, I will count from three to one. I want you to look for any other memory where there's something your soul needs to heal. Three, two, and one. You are there now. Is what is happening now? Are there any other memories coming to your mind? Or you think you are complete for today? My father's death. My father's death. Continue what is happening. When I 
spent the day at my father's and his new wife. Yes. Uh, after his death. Yes. His wife said, before, just before he died, he was thinking about me. Yes. How does that make you feel? Guilty. Well, what makes you say that, that you're guilty? Like he was worried too much about me. I, so, I was caused to say Can you repeat? He was worrying too much about me. Worrying too much about too much and about you. This worry killed him to cause the heart attack because of me. This is what you think. The best way to find out is by asking him. Remember that what died was your father's body. Your father is a spirit, and the spirit never dies. Say hi to your father. They communicate with thoughts. With images, say hi to your father. Let's see how he replies to you. Hi, Dad. What are you getting back in your mind? <sighs> Ask him how he is now that he is out of the body. Yes. He's fine. He is fine, you see. Now that the communication is open, why don't you tell him everything you wanted to tell him all these years? Your wife told me he was thinking about me just before you died. Yeah. Ask him if you were the cause of his death. I was cause of your death, heart attack, death. What is he saying? Of course not. Of course not. We are not that powerful to kill somebody that way. And you cannot make a spirit go to the light whenever you want. They die whenever they're supposed to die. They even plan that ahead of time. And you've been feeling guilty all of these years for nothing. So, Arsoy, why don't you tell your daughter how you've been feeling about her? Do you, are you still worrying about her? No. No, this is her journey. This planet is a school. We come here to learn, right? Yes. You understand this now? Yeah, I understand. And she's doing very good. Good. She had the wrong idea. and She's been feeling guilty since the time she was with Yeshua. Been feeling guilty for the stuff that happens where she doesn't have any control. How can you be feel guilty for something you don't have any control over? Doesn't make sense, does it? Go ahead and talk to her. Tell her whatever you want to tell her. Yeah, when I was in my body, I worried about you because I... You were alone, you know. Uh, you were a student. I couldn't financially support you enough. But I always told you, I am good. I am ca taking care of myself. That why well, you are worried about me too much. Yeah, this you is have, my you, mission. You have her journey. <laughs> this is my mission, baby, to worrying the. There you go. About my. My, even my first child, 
and not she doesn't live a life like I used to believe should be secure mm -hmm. but definitely I wasn't there because of you I'm not worrying of course right now about you we are beautifully doing. I am proud of you, what you have did so far. Very good. So that let's go ahead and remove the guilt from her heart. It doesn't belong there anymore. She got the wrong idea. Ayla, right, go ahead and remove that guilt. You just her you that. Yeah. And just give him a big hug and allow him to go to the light. He's gonna take away that guilt from you. I love you. I'm giving my gift to you, Dad. Very good. Thank you. Now he goes to the light. You're free now. No guilt anymore. I want you to go back to this garden. Your dad can go with you to the garden if he wants. And walk on this garden by the hand, take him by the hand, touching the flowers. Bring your hands in this pond or river. Feel this energy of love all over your body now. Knowing that you are always loved. Knowing that you were never rejected. Knowing you never did anything wrong. No guilt. As you say goodbye to your dad, I am going to count from one to five. As I count, I want you to start going up the stairs. With each step, you're going to feel lighter, happier, refreshed, with renewed energy and purpose. One, coming up. Two, feeling lighter. Three, I want you to disconnect any feelings that do not work for you anymore. From now on, you're going to be able to feel love. From now on, you're going to appreciate yourself. You're going to connect to yourself. From now on, you will never feel guilty or resentful anymore. You will not feel abandoned or disconnected. Feeling super happy. Four, coming back. And five, opening your eyes. Little by little now. Welcome back. How do you feel? Lighter. Lighter. Lighter is good. Yeah. <laughs> and good. Very good. And smiling. Smiling, yeah. Good. So I'm going to stop the recording. Uh, today is October 2nd, 2023. And um, before I always stop the recording, I ask my clients, right, if they're willing to share their session on my YouTube channel or keep it private. Whatever you decide is okay with me and with you. Oh, you can share. Oh, thank you very much. People learn from these videos and they really appreciate that. And if you guys are watching these videos, put some comments so that Ayla can read and get the support that she needs and the love that she needs, right? Yeah. <laughs> Good. So I'm stopping the recording now.